All right. Hi, my name is Alex Williams. I go by, I go by Lex Will. Hi. Hey, by hold. Solemn oath that I was studying how my people were overthrown by Catholicism and the horrors of Christians and their Inquisition. And this, by my oath, is what I was doing when Leo got fucked by a bear. What? Yes, he did. I was in front of the computer studying how Catholics are evil and they stole my fucking land when Leo got fucked by a bear. Deadpool, your movie sucked and it was very homosexual, but Leo got fucked by a bear. Jurassic Park, another remake, oh shit, more bullshit to intake. But Leo, guess what? Got fucked by a bear. It doesn't really matter if Will Smith starred in a movie because he turned his little boy into a little sweetheart. America's little sweetheart. But it really is irrelevant because Leo got fucked by a bear. Now, I think it's beautiful how they get all these illuminated artists to say Now remember, they say, hey, where were you when 9-11, where were you when this great fucking tragedy happened? Hey, where were you when Leo got fucked by a bear? Can you believe that? She was a bear when Leo got fucked by a bear. Aw, oh, what is your hoopla about? Let's see. Let's see. You went against the guard dogs and you accepted this movie. What's in this movie? What is in this movie that everybody's like, hey, you got fucked by a bear? Why are all these black stars coming against Leo DiCaprio? What did he do in the movie? What's the movie about? Let's watch the teaser. Coffee bread. It's Leo against Indians. Oh, this is the beginning of our occupation. So Leonardo DiCaprio took a job highlighting colonialism. Let's watch. Now, why would any native of this land put their bow against your neck and not finish you off. Oh, because you're the star of the movie. So right there, your character should have died. You're already down, pleading for life. And in any real situation, your attacker would have killed you. Now here's where the director says, no, 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 you're Leonardo DiCaprio, keep living. We 
have a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and super Christian Tom Hardy that believes only in Jesus and has no idea the Pope came and said, Jesus failed on the cross. It was all a trick to steal the fucking land from the natives and the Israelites. So as it says in the Bible. So they get some foreigner that has no idea about true American history and they write this lie and they get this homo, oh excuse me, they get uh, the guy that got fucked by a bear to uh, star in it. Inspired by true events. I cannot believe people sat through that movie. But I shall certainly sit through this. Involved with Khloe Kardashian back in 2009. Six years later, it looks like he's had enough of people talking bad about him in a bad light with regards to tabloid favorites, the Kardashians, and he's not afraid to let TMZ know about it. Not, not the person that they're trying to make me out to be. That's fair, bro. Whoever, whoever's doing it. You know I know Khloe, right? I know you know Khloe. Right? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, right. You know I know her. Right, right. So how would you think I ended up there? I would think that there was some communication between you two. Okay, then. It's hard for me to keep my composure. Uh -huh. To everybody that I know and that supports me, I'm sorry, but it's just it. The dog, the dog has to... There it is. It's just it. The dog, the dog has to bite back. That's it. Y'all want, y'all... It's just it. The dog, the dog has to bite back. That's it. These illuminated superstars are nothing but dogs. They are god dogs. They are the same as the boule. They are not wearing suits. They wear uniforms. They are not earning mansions. They are earning stars on the walk of fame. 
These people do not control Hollywood. They are controlled by the people that control Hollywood. When this man has said, I'm tired of being controlled, this is the statement that he makes. Listen very clear. The dog, the dog has to fight back. What this video is, when Leo got fucked by a bear, you have two illuminated megastars. Are you following me? Two illuminated megastars. <laughs> to celebrate movies you've actually seen. Now, a lot of people don't like watching historic movies. The exciting part of this shitty historic movie, based, based, base mentality, based on a true film, inspired by a, 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 a real event. So they had to throw in bestiality, bestiality, to get people to come and watch the movie. And this great beast, there's an image that plays and it seems as if the beast is raping Leonardo DiCaprio. And you see it in the background on the broadcasting screen. There's the bear. That's Leo's head right there. That's Leo's head. And that's the bear's body mounting him. Now, ignore the two Illuminati dogs. The god dogs. Watch the film in the background. Now, I'll rewind it a little bit. And watch the movie. Did you just see the bear mount Leonardo DiCaprio in the background? You see him on top of him now, right? That's Leo's head, that's the bear's head. Watch the bear mount Leo again. It only plays for a second. Let's watch that one more time. Now, when this Illuminati dog says the dog is going to bite back, and then he's almost executed. It's just it. The dog, the dog has to bite back. Now, what does he say later? It was totally fabricated, and then proceeds to bash the gossip site and accuses it of portraying black celebrities differently than white ones. I know what your company is about. I know what they're doing to brothers. I know what y'all doing to the rappers. I know you want them beefing. I know you want to argue. Y'all don't do Leo like that. Now, you have white celebrities attacking Leo. Now watch this. It's very turned on right now. They took another part and people start dying and Chris Pratt said. We're actually dying. Will Smith and he got the proof to finally make the NFL. Just the truth. I punch an earthquake and made it stop. And people stop thinking that I was Chris Rock. But no matter what happened, nothing compares. Leo got Imagine Leonardo DiCaprio watching this and he sees all these artists and actors lip syncing Leo got fucked by a bear. Leo got fucked by a bear. Now. You make your you're such a great actor. You should go into porn. Look at this. Watch the screen. And there, there you go. We live in Babylon. You guys want to do? There's your fucking O face. Huh? You Mr. Untouchable? You got fucked by a bear. I think you took a bad job, buddy. I think you got set up. Because they knew you were going to kiss the Pope's ring. Now, who eats pizza while taking a bath? 
Well, this guy does while Leo got. I already got by the band. I was playing time. Then he says it all special, like he's saying a special message. He's not saying it in key of the rap. Listen, bear. bear. I was playing time. Then he bites his lip, right? Hey, he bites his lip. Right? Is that a special message? Look at the faces of all the stars going, ah ha. Look in the background. Look here and look here. You pick what side you're going to look at. Look at them go, ah ha. <laughs> look at this girl. She loves that shit right there. Her head tilted back and her mouth went wide open. Ah ha ha ha. I was playing time. How long did they have to, cho to choreograph this? All these people knew what their lines were to say, Leo got fucked by a bear. Now, you think Leonardo Di DiCaprio watched this? I bet you did. Hey, that doesn't look like a bear in a bear suit in that movie. close that out so I don't have to go back so that's it's, so he says you don't do Leo like that right so the guard dogs communicate on their own all animals talk so the guard dogs talked in a language that the Illuminati didn't understand and they got all these other guard dogs all these other actors artists TV stars movie stars to all get into one building, practice for days, Leo got fucked by a bear. Now you have the Avenger star, right? Black Falcon! What does Black Falcon mean to black kids that want to grow up to be superheroes? Black Falcons, Falcon's the shit, right? Right. And Leo got, I was hanging out with Tom Hardy when, when Leo got fucked by a bear, right? That black man says, that black falcon says, I was hanging out with Super Christian when Leo got fucked by that bear. I know you want them arguing. Y'all don't do Leo like that. You don't do Brad like that. No. Again, who's next? Who's next? You don't do Brad like that. It ain't even going to be hard to do Brad. You married your cousin. You had children of incest. <laughs> it's so fucking nasty. So, and then your wife got, your wife promoted that other women remove their breasts. Brad Pitt can't even fucking work anymore because he was so hard to work with on that sucky ass zombie movie. Nobody wants to hire him. Now that's the top actor in the world. Married to the top actress in the world. And you don't see Mr. and Mrs. Smith in not one fucking movie anymore. She's too wrinkly and she got her tits cut out. And he's too ridiculous to work with. Now Leonardo DiCaprio is so amazing to work with. He told the director, I'll, I'll, I'll do a scene with a bear fucking me. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. It's right here in front of you. If you think one's not connected to the other, then that's your opinion. These dogs are going to go to war with their masters. Their masters went against the Pope. Their masters promote to you to keep these dog guard dogs in front of you and keep you distracted. When the Pope already said in 2014, give these children of God 
their reparations. Give the other nations that were enslaved with them, give them their reparations. Five documents I pull up. Five documents I pull up. That shows you, he says, give reparations. He shows you, I put Obama in charge of any of these organizations that try to stop reparations from being handed back to the people and people groups that were enslaved. The first thing the Pope did was go to South America, to Bolivia, the place of the Temple of the Sun. And what did he do? He said to the Bolivian people in their own language, I am sorry for enslaving you. He went to the root of slavery, where it all started, and said, I'm sorry for enslaving you. Joshua built a temple to the sun. Whether it's in Mexico, whether it's in Bolivia, the Pope didn't go to Mexico, Temple of the Sun, because there's no people there, there's just fucking tourists. He went to Bolivia and said, I'm sorry for the actions of the house of this church. Pope came to the United States, said to everyone in the U.S., Listen, Tom Hardy. He said, Jesus failed. Tom Hardy don't believe in no Jesus. Tom Hardy believes in a paycheck. They said, Tom Hardy, we don't want you to play sports anymore. We don't want, to, we don't want you to eventually injure yourself. You will be better for us in the entertainment industry. Now we'll put you side by side with Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't even understand what happened to him. He's in a fucking whirlwind, whirlwind and he can't even see it. They put superstar sports figure Tom Hardy next to Leonardo DiCaprio. And they made Tom Hardy look macho in the movie. They made Tom Hardy look macho in the movie. And they made Leonardo DiCaprio look, look, look like a, 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 a weirdo. You're wearing a bear skin suit, of course you're attracted by bears and you can't even defend yourself by a bear. And then the director says, hey, let's have a rape scene on camera where you're getting raped by a bear. And you agree to it. Now, I'm going to highlight something in this video that's really hard to see. Those people that sell their souls, these spirits chase you through shadows. And you don't know it. You're being chased by shadow creatures. You want to see the creature? It's on screen right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this creature. Because you don't know what's chasing you. And I do. Now, I'll always point out when these things are around. Anybody that is a magnet for them. Now, most of you turned on this video. You thought you were going to see some, some jokey shit. You know. But now I'm going to show you the real deal. Any actor that sold his soul, there will always be a demon chasing you. It will morph in and out of things that is around you. There you see its head, its eyes, its mouth. You can say it's shadows, you can say it's a tree, you can say whatever you want. I said what it is. You're an adult, you can think whatever you want. That's what follows this dude. Now. Y'all don't do them like that. This and I like sat back and took that shit that's been taken I know you years have. Two years straight. I know you have. I know you have, bro. Two years straight. I know you have. Can't nobody bounce a ball better than me. Nobody want to f*** with me. Now. Nobody can pass, bounce a ball better than him. Nobody is a better sports star than Lamar Odom. That's what he said. Nobody wants to fuck with him. He's not challenging people to come to a basketball court. He just said the owners of the teams have been told not to put their jerseys on him. Do not sign him. He is no longer valid to play sports. He is now a star. Star. And they would like to turn him into a superstar based on his marriage and almost death 
to the Cardassian. Now, who has the power to say to Hollywood, I don't want him to play basketball anymore? Who has the power to take Tom Hardy off the football field and keep him in movies forever? Who has the power to say, I want you to always act as if you're a Christian, Tom Hardy? Who has that type of power? Who's going to say, let's put Super Sports Christian in a movie about stealing land from the Canaanites? Because we already know that the Israelite Canaanite connection, them being on the same land, warring with each other when Europeans arrive. Wake up, people. You're in the land of Nod. And every day you think you're awake, you're drifting back to sleep. <laughs>